Hello, everybody. Rick Chartrain again, uh, from Sustainable Success Strength Training. Just thought I'd throw in uh, something quickly today based on a thought that I had this earlier this week, and it has to do with the old story that we all heard when we were children about the race between the tortoise and the hare, in which the hare, you'll recall, goes off to a quick start, gets way ahead, and of course, because he's way ahead, tends to dawdle and take his time, whereas the tortoise starts off much slower, but slow and steady, eventually wins the race because he just stays on what he's doing and eventually beats the hare. So where my thought came that thought about this uh, story has to do in part with my recent conclusion that, you know, the chase for optimal or superior ways of doing things when it comes to health, wellness, diet, exercise, sometimes may really be a futile effort in the sense that slow and steady does tend to win the race. That the difference between optimal and just getting good results over time can actually be very small. And for most of us, unless we're competitive athletes, almost be unimportant. Added to that, it was pointed out to me that sometimes obsessing over the optimal can actually get in the way of getting good results. And furthermore, that uh, that uh, sometimes what's optimal for one particular goal may be suboptimal for another goal. Sometimes it's simply a trade-off where you have to give up one thing to get more of the other. And what made me think of that is I recently read a book in which some studies were cited to make the point that the author was trying to make as being a superior way of doing weights. And they were all eight-week studies. And in my mind, what I've come to think about is I don't really care all that much about eight week studies, because if you think about it, when if you have superior results in eight weeks with usually untrained young individuals, does it really mean that those results will continue to be superior for life? And even if they were continue to be superior for life, no one can get fitter than what their genetic potential will allow them to do. You can only get to your genetic potential, whatever that happens to be. And whether you get there quicker or slower or not, really at the end of the day, if you're training for life, where you have gray hair like me and you've been doing it for 40 years and hope to do it for another, at least few more decades, then as long as you're making progress. So, whereas a lot of people who are always striving for the best or the optimal, will sometimes not stick to their program. So again, slow and steady wins the race. And at the end of the day, a lot of what gets discussed and debated, in my opinion, is a lot of hair splitting. Now, having said that, if you want to try something new because you enjoy it, keeps things interesting for you, and it isn't going to hurt you in the process, then there's nothing to lose by trying it. But just keep your expectations uh, reasonable in doing it. Thank you for listening. And uh, I look forward to having people share this with others. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that's greatly appreciated. Bye for now.